Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks, and you are checking out a Mix Essentials tutorial video for ADSR. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do two really simple things. One is a little bit more conducive to logic, but this, the idea will apply in any DAW. And then other is just a sound design tip and trick to allow you to double your synth parts and pan them out left and right if you'd like. So in the audio world where you record an actual real guitar or a bass or a cellist, what you can do is you have two options to get into the stereo into the stereo realm. You can put two mics on the source and then pan one left and right. And it will create a nice big stereo image because the difference in the position of the mics relative to the sound source. Or what you can do is you can record like an electric guitar and then do it on, a, do it on another track record a double over that. And because we're not robots and it's really hard to play everything exactly on time, even if you're a wizard with your instrument, what will happen is you'll be a little bit off with it, maybe an intonation or dynamics or timing. And what that does is it creates, again, a nice, wide, lush feel. Well, with synths, it's a little bit harder, right? Because if I take this lead right here, and I want to double it, with that same sound to get a stereo image of that lead so I can get it off of center. It's, it's just basically our ears will perceive that as being centered because it's the exact same sound source. So there's two things you can do. And this, this first one is a Logic Pro X tip at the same time as being a tip and trick you can do in any DIW. So I have this lead, this exact same. So let me get these volumes to be the same, the same. So we're going to do negative 5.4 on both of these. All right, so this will sound really, this will basically sound like it's a mono. Or right down the middle. Right, I'm not getting a stereo image. Okay, and I want a stereo image because, for instance, in this little track I have going here, we have a bass straight down the middle. We have uh, this piano, which is going to be out left and right, but we have a lot of drums. Right, there's some stuff. There's going to be vocalists down the middle, so I want to spread that out. So what you can do is you can go to your region inspector, and you can choose a delay time. And what we'll do is I'll pull up the MIDI from one of these. And for this, I will choose a quantization of 16th note. And we're going to go to where it says more if it's not if you don't have the drop down appearing and we're going to do delay and we're going to do 162 so let's listen to this actually let's choose a really drastic value i'm going to choose a half note do you see how a whole <laughs> whole half note or whole the whole duration of time went through this first note didn't start playing till right here Okay, so we're basically just moving or telling the region to delay by a certain value. Well, if you go to smaller values like any of these first three in both a negative and positive direction, I'm going to go to positive 1 over 96. And then for the second region that I just copied and pasted, it's the exact same synth preset, I'm going to do the same thing. We're going to quantize at a 16th note value. We're going to go to delay, and we're going to do a negative 1 over 196. So that will come in a little bit quicker. And now if I play these together. We actually have a stereo width field. Okay, and you don't even have to do the delay on two of them. You can just do it on one. So let's take one to zero ticks and have one be that positive one over one, uh, one over 96. Let's listen to that. Again, there's a stereo image to that. Let's look at a multimeter. Okay, we're still in the realm of positive phase. We're not hitting an anti-phase. So that's, that will sound nice. Let's listen in conjunction with the music. Okay, now if you're not a Logic user, what you can do is nudge or move things on a tick based value and in logic that's right up here and in, in pro tools you can do that with your keys but that's a great way to do it now to add to the same idea what i'm going to do i'm going to go into one of the synths i guess i'll go into the synth track that we didn't 
adjust with the delay setting in the region. Now this is coming from Massive and it's coming from a strontium waveform. What I'm going to do with this is change the intensity and change the wavetail position. Just a little bit. Change the noise color a little as well. And now when we play these together, Let me take the intensity back down. Just by changing the wave tail position just slightly will allow the ear to pick up on that. It's a slightly different sound source and we're just trying to create a slight difference with it. So by, con by using these two techniques, by both moving the uh, are changing the, the delay offset essentially when the MIDI plays and triggers and then also just changing one little parameter within the synth we now have a doubled feel it's kind of like we played it again over itself but it brings it more into that natural instrument feel where you played it again and not everything's perfect And I personally, in this example, I did. I don't like. I didn't like doing both. I was just showing you. Uh, with this actual example, what I would do is I would just take the, and use the offset that we did with the delay. I wouldn't change the actual preset because for me, just moving the delay offset of when it was playing sounded good and wide, but wasn't like a noticeable effect where you're like, oh, okay, that's that's really delayed or that's really changed. A lot of people what they'll do is they use a. Um, they'll throw a plugin on, they'll throw a millise a, a delay plugin with milliseconds. Well, if you're a logic user, you don't have to do that. You can go up to here to the smart region controls and do it all right there at the click of a button or two. If you guys have any questions or comments, let me know below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm Echo Soundworks. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you next time.